Well, there you go. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Hump Day Show. Yes, bitches. Welcome. 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 I'm Public Enemy 59. Lickster 101. And we are here to give you our top three must-buys of this generation so far. Cause Regarding game consoles, like the top game for each game console. Yes, because this generation has been pretty badass. We have the Xbox One, the PS4, and the Switch, which have came out respectively with their own bangers. Uh, so we're going to give you the games that we think that you have to go out and buy right away. Like, I don't know, man. Sell your dog. Go buy these fucking games. Nah, don't sell your dog. <laughs> this is a chihuahua. Then you sell that motherfucker. Uh, but yeah, we're going to give you our top three games. Um, okay. And we're going to give you one for each system. Uh, one from each of us for each system. Yes. yes so um, yes. I'm going to start with my number three must okay. buy. Okay. Uh, and I think the number three must buy is for the Xbox One X and it's Game Pass. Uh, okay. <laughs> so you might think I'm cheating. I don't care. But Game Pass, man, it is one of the greatest things to happen to video games so far of this generation. Uh, Microsoft came out with a hey, this Game Pass, where all you it's a subscription and you get all these games for free, and they keep adding stuff every month. And all of their new games, all of Xbox new exclusive games, are available on Game Pass. So I think it'll, it's it's a crazy good deal. You can either pay ten bucks per month, which is what I do, or you could just pay the sixty dollars and have it for a year. Um, I think you're crazy if you're an Xbox One X owner to not have this service. To not yeah, have you this gotta have it. If you have yeah. an Xbox, you gotta have it. Um, you get a, a bunch of old, like not not. I'm not a bunch of old school games. Yeah, that were on the 360. Kotar. Kotar. Um, you get a bunch of new games. Uh, I mean, it's just a combination of a bunch yeah. of good stuff. I mean, I think it's a great deal. I, I've I've downloaded a couple of games. Oblivion is on there, which is one of I, like I said this past Monday, one of my favorite games of all time, top five. Yeah. Um, playing it on the Xbox One X, 4K. Come on. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's my number three. That's my Xbox One X uh, yes. must buy game. So yeah. for sure, get in Game Pass. Eat, try it out for a month. I think they even have a special going on where yeah. you pay like two bucks, I think, uh, and you get it for a month. So just try it out. See what you see. try out all the stuff Xbox has to offer. You got Master Chief Collection, a bunch of Halo games. You got uh, the all new right, Crackdown though. is on there. All right. Hey, hey, all right, all right. I'm sorry. There's a lot of games on there, all right? <laughs> uh, I guess uh, keep it in the spirit of number Trey. Uh, I would say for PS4, I think the, the best game that I've played was um, uh, The Last of Us. The remastered one. Mm. Uh, it's really, really good. Uh, they're about to come out with a new one in the following year. or that, Is it this year? I'm not really yeah, sure. Yeah, this, this year. But the story was really, really good. The graphics were great. Uh, everything was good. It was a good story. It got you involved. Um, I had to borrow a PS4 because I'm, I'm not a PS4 fanboy. So I, I borrowed it from a friend because I heard this game was really, really good. Like They were like, yeah. if you're a gamer, you got to go play this game. Yeah. So, yes, go buy this game. You should be able to buy that GameStop. R. I R. think P. it's like the it's remaster's like, 20, like 30. Yeah, yeah, it's 20 not to that $30. Much, but I recommend that everybody play it so they can see actually how good this game really is. Yeah, was. actually, all the games that you're seeing right now that are coming out like that are story-focused take all their inspiration from The Last of Us. The Last of Us is like that big, huge, triple-A movie-like game. yeah. Uh, that you know, a lot of people are taking an inspiration yeah. out. So if you want to see where all of that is taken from, go play The Last of Us Remastered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really good game. Uh, okay, so my number two is gonna be for the uh, for the PS4 also uh, must buy game. You have to play this game, uh, and it is Spider Man. Mm -hmm. um, I voted it uh, my favorite game of uh, 2018. You, you were gonna get mad because you didn't do God of War. Uh, I don't care. Uh, uh, I voted it my year, uh, game of the year for 2018. Uh, it's action packed. It's a great Spider-Man story. It has uh, comic book inspirations, free DLC with costumes. Uh, well, not free DLC with the costumes are free. free. DLCs. So, some some, just at him like some costumes DLC. are free, but yeah, you do got to pay for the extra. This is, spend like fifty dollars on those DLCs. Uh, no, it's not that much. Uh, I think it's like thirty. Plus the game, but the game right now you can find. <laughs> uh, right now you can find the game around forty bucks. 
Still and then too another thirty dollars for the DLC. You're looking at seventy. But I think it's a must buy. Like I said at the beginning of the show, so your freaking dog. Who gives a shit about that motherfucker? Spider Man will bring you happiness. Uh, such a fun game. The web singing is badass. Uh, it's a must with buy. Two. Must buy for PS4. It looks so freaking beautiful. I imagine Spider-Man 2 is going to come up for, for the PS5. So if you want Spider-Man, if you want to feel like Spider-Man, go chunk the $40 for Spider-Man on PS4. Okay. Well, my number two is for Xbox One. Uh, and you have to buy this game uh, as a gamer. Like, you're not a real gamer if you don't buy this game, which is Resident Evil 2. Uh, Resident Evil 2 uh, just came out. It, it looks really good on the Xbox One X, by the way. Bro, Resident Evil 2 just came out. It's about still $59.99, but it's worth every penny. Just the graphics, the story, the the way they, they upgraded all this stuff from Resident Evil 2. You know, tra- mean, trade in all those lame Call of Duty games. Yes, please And get do. some credit for Resident Evil 2. Yes, man. Dude, Resident Evil 2 uh, must buy. is a must buy right now. It is about to be March. Uh, I, and free DLC. And I'm calling it. I'm calling it. I've been calling it since January. I think this is the game of the year. I really believe this is the game of the year. Yeah, it just uh, came out in January. Especially with, and... with the whole Anthem thing. Uh, I still think this is going to be the game of the year. But yeah, that's my number two. Go buy it. It's worth the $65. It and is. the good thing is, there's so deal- much content. Yeah, and the DLCs that they're offering are free, except if you want the music, which I think is a down. The downgrade uh, uh, here. The, the original the, music. The original music. You're still you on to, that. You Let it go, purchase. man. Let no, it go. No. But yeah, uh, what's your nah, number Resident one? Evil 2, man. Nah, uh, on either system. Just go buy Resident yeah, Evil 2. either system, correct. Um, yeah, it, it is 60 bucks right now, but it's a must own for any, like, any, any you know, video game owner. And Especially you, this generation, it's freaking badass. And if you have Game Pass, you can play 0, 1, 4... I don't think they took off one. And you, no, they're still there. I don't think so. No, I, 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 they're I, still there. They interchange. If you downloaded yeah. it, it's already there. But if you have it, uh, see. it comes off. Oh, I don't okay. have it. Because I, 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 I just got Game Pass. I just got Game Pass and they're not in there. I have zero. Bro, one. Try, if, if, there, if four was in there, oh my God. No, you can buy four for like 15 bucks. But anyway, yeah, let, let, let's go ahead and move forward. What's your number one? So my number one must buy game. And we're, I'm moving to the Nintendo Switch now. Um, Must buy game. Is Octopath Traveler. Yeah, that's very popular. Badass very RPG. Popular. Um, came out for the Switch at a perfect time. Uh, man, it is like old school and new school put together. The music is great. Right now, you can find this game. Um, you know, if you look online, uh, between the $30, $40 range. And it's you, a good buy because it's a long fucking game. Yeah, man. It's like... Uh, it reminds me of Dragoon. That's yeah, like it's, Dragoon. it's long, man. It's like... Uh, for sure, if you want to do everything, you're looking at at least like 80 hours, man. 70 hours, 80 hours. If you if you want to do everything, so it's a it's a badass RPG. It's turn based. I know you guys might look at it and be like, oh, this this is weird, but it's so no addictive. no no. For people who like Final Fantasy and like Legend of Dragoon, a Persona or game, Persona games, this game would like, be perfect for them. Yeah, it, um, especially those of you who played the old school RPGs on Super Nintendo on PlayStation. Uh, on um, PS2, man, this 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 uh game kind of catches the essence of that. Yeah, and and like people have Facebook uh, groups and stuff. Oh yeah, I'm in a Facebook yeah. group for it. For and sure. like they try to ask questions. Yeah, about, like, like how to beat missions and, and shit. The, the community is really cool about it. Like very welcoming and very helpful. No one's talking mess to anybody about oh you're a noob. No, like everybody's helping each other out. Like hey, this is you know I need I, I need Bye. help doing this. Reminds me of Destiny. When it first started. Uh, sure. Um, <laughs> R.I.P. Um, not, nah, but a badass up. RPG, man. It's addictive. Uh, just hours upon hours. It, you could just get in there, place a couple of minutes, like, you know, grind. It's a great pickup and go uh, yeah. game for the Switch. Um, maybe you could start a game tonight and check it out. Um, nah, I gotta catch uh, shiny Pokemon. <laughs> but yeah, uh, for the Switch, man, if you have the Switch... It, RPG wise, to me, this is my favorite RPG on the Switch. It's a must buy. Go out and get it. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm staying with the Switch. My number one game to buy for the Switch has to be Breath of the Wild. Wow. That game yeah. was amazing. Amazing. Um, uh, I, must buy. I was. I don't have a Switch. I would go to Los's house, like drive there almost every day for like Bro, three weeks. JP was at my house almost all the fucking time. 
and I beat it. It was him. fucking worse. <laughs> it was dude, terrible, dude. I grinded. I grinded. It was like a hundred hours. I had like almost everything. Um, th- that game bad was so game. Addi- yeah, so, badass game. So addictive. The mechanics were amazing. Upgraded the graphics are graphics amazing. Graphics were amazing. The uh, progress, like just get it. You progress as you. There's mm-hmm. really no nothing you're upgrading on on Link, but as you're battling and getting better and reaching these these places you're yeah. getting more life because that's really the upgrade system is your life and your stamina meter um you're getting better weapons as you go you're getting better armor and i you're love getting... how you can switch your costumes uh, you can do different things for the night my god i, I miss that i miss i that. miss i i, I literally because i let a friend borrow it i just got it back and i haven't played it on my new tv I, I've just been itching for a moment to go back and just go back into that world and do it. Aren't you off President's Day like me? Yeah. I'm oh kidding. my God. <laughs> we're, we're off to. Uh, well, we were we were off on Monday, and uh, I must say I cannot wait. Yeah, um, I can't wait. I got out of the game. But yeah, um, man, Breath of the Wild. It uh, it it won a bunch of Game of the Year awards, right? Well, it should have. It, it was badass. Yeah. Uh, Nintendo had knocked it out of the park with that. Man, it, and I know that came out with release, which was what, 20... It boosted those sales up like a motherfucker. Yeah, uh, that. Switch sold bonkers, sold out. But a lot of people that are now picking up the Switch aren't don't know that, hey, I, there's this one game back here and I feel like a lot of people are missing missing out on it. Which is like Octopad or, or, or... No, I'm talking about people buying the Switch right now don't know that Breath of the Wild came out for the system. Or, yeah. Or it's like, aren't aware I, I that... I they know. It's just that right now it died down simply because a lot of people have already beat it. And it's already been almost two years. Like, it, it's dying down. But it's, it's just like every Legend of Zelda, it always comes back. Mm, you're, um, I, I do still see it. You're right, though, because I still do see it on the, like, the... The yeah. top twenty list. Because I'm looking, I'm looking to to buy um, probably the Switch in May, uh, with the deal with the. Because I heard that the Switch is gonna come out with a new upgraded. Uh, I don't uh, think so, man. I so. think the president said he wasn't. But Breath of the Wild is a must buy. You know, Nintendo games they don't really drop down in price, so that's a full that's a bad sixty dollar d- yeah. game. But it's one of those sixty dollars that. Maybe by May it'll go it. down. Maybe, but yeah, go buy it. If you have a Switch, definitely go buy it. I really recommend it. It was so much fun. I'm going to buy it uh, when I get the Switch. I'm going to buy a lot of games when I get the Switch. But yeah, man, I'm excited for it. But let us know what you guys think of what are your best games for each console. Uh, yeah. For PC, we really don't play PC. Elias well, plays PC. Well, a lot PC. of the same games and, around. Yeah, both, and, and so. mostly for PC. No, but he... tell us what your must-buys are, what games you recommend to all the consumers out there that... If they have one of these three systems, they have to go out and get. Um, we try to, uh, you know, uh, give as much variety as we can. But obviously, you know, we can't. If we wanted to, we could talk about this, uh, you know, all night. So yeah, because but, I have you know, a lot of games. Can't, we can't go on forever. So we just gave a quick uh, top three. Quick but top uh, three, yeah. but yeah, let us know what you guys think, uh, and let us know if you did pick these games up or you're now you're planning on. And what do you think about them? We want to hear like, what, your, subscribe, what your feedback ring that is. Ring bell. No, no. Yeah, uh, and follow ring us on twitch.tv slash the three-way podcast where all the new games, all the old games, um, once the Elgato comes in, we're waiting just like Jack Black. Uh, you huh? Know, wait, wait, what? What? You lost me. Uh, you need to watch Jack Black's videos, bro. Um, uh, once the Elgato comes in, we'll do some gameplay videos. We'll, we'll be on the Twitch stream. So uh, thank you guys for listening. We love y'all. Thank y'all for all the support. We do this for all of you. Uh, Southwest, uh, uh, I'm the best. Thank you. H-Town.